go ahead. What questions do you guys have for Kanika about Kanika? Yes, yeah, secrets beyond Matero. What guys do you want to know? I just want to know what happened, really. What do you guys want to know? I've never actually done a reading on Kanika. I know a lot of tarot readers have done it. I haven't. But there's something about this Cancer North Node retrograde season where I'm like, mm, I kind of want to do a reading now. Something about it feels appropriate. Who did it? Okay. I want to know exactly what happened. Okay. What exactly happened to Kanika? Okay, so I guess that's the question. What exactly happened to Kanika? I kind of wanted to do an energy channeling reading, but I want to know how she got in that freezer. That's a good one, too. Thank you for clearing and cleansing the energy of this space. Thank you for clearing and cleansing the energy of the spaces of those who are watching this video. Thank you for protecting us, Father God. Our energies, our thoughts, our minds, and our emotions, in Jesus' name. Thank you for opening up the channel so that we can get a good, clear reading on Kanika. Thank you for sending love and light to Kanika and her family members, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. I feel like Kanika is an angel because I'm seeing her with angel wings. So I feel like she's an angel now which tells me she's crossed over. That's good. Did her friends have anything to do with her, with putting her in that situation? Hi, Maya. Was she under the influence? Let's start with what exactly happened. Were her friends involved? So what exactly happened with Kanika Jenkins and the Kanika Jenkins situation? You guys know this is going to eventually be posted as its own video. So look forward to this being posted as its own separate video, either tomorrow or later today. Was it a prank gone wrong? What exactly happened with Kanika Jenkins? Thank you, Father God, for opening up the channels. Thank you, God, for speaking through me. What exactly happened to Kanika Jenkins? Oh. Okay, so you guys, I'm hearing I was killed, and I'm seeing a bag being, like, put over her head or something like that. So I do feel like at one point she was put in a bag, like a black bag. What happened with Kanika Jenkins? Mm hmm. I actually feel like she may have been like raped or something like that. I don't know if they found semen in like her underwear or something like that. But they're saying there's something where like something was taken from her and it feels like I want to say her virginity. I don't think she was a virgin though. I feel like there's something about her womb or her essence. It's like something like that. It's like to me that speaks of I was sexually violated. <clears throat> I do think someone did betray her, betray her. I think one of her friends betrayed her. Um, one of her friends knew what was going on. But it's interesting. I feel like it, this is after everything had gone down. I think one of the friends knew and one of the friends was also aware of the cameras and may have actually been acting or, like, playing for the cameras or something like that. 
like maybe in terms of searching for her, it's like they already knew she was gone. They already knew what happened to her, but because they were aware of the cameras, they just looked for her or something like that. But something also tells me that like in doing that, they were actually trying to conveniently exit the building and exit the, the scene of a crime or something like that. So it's like, there's some acting involved with that. Oh God, okay. I get the tower. I think it was a setup. I think it was a setup, but something about it did go wrong. And I think why everything, the way the case was handled and the way like the footage with footage missing and stuff like that, I feel like it was all for the protection of the hotel. So I feel like something went wrong with the friends or with Kanika or the, and the people she was hanging out with. The hotel was alerted and then that's when the hotel or the hotel staff stepped in and was like, okay, like we need to clean this up we're not dealing with this shit and having this shit out in the news or something like that. So at that point it became like a conspiracy, a cleanup, something like that. But then that's where it gets fishy too, because I'm seeing the friends that Kanika came with. Like, I feel like at least two of them were aware of well, like what was going to go down, what had happened. And then after everything went down, they tried to play innocent. That's what I'm picking up. I'm going to stick to that. <clears throat> Two of her friends knew what was going on, and they tried to play innocent after everything had happened. All right. She definitely was inebriated, and she was also under the influence of drugs. I feel like they may have actually put something, like, in her drink. Um, I think she may have also been drinking before she went to the hotel. So I think... By the time she got to the hotel, it was like they gave her more drinks. They gave her, they put something in her drink, you guys. They put something in her drink. Something that messed with, like, something that messed with her ability to be, like, coherent enough. Something that, like, numbed her intuition, I feel like, in a sense. So, like, I don't know why I'm seeing this. Like, it numbed her intuition. I and mean, it's like, it numbed it to the point that, like, she would be walking down the hall. And if you were walking up behind her, she wouldn't sense you. She wouldn't hear you. Like, you could just, like, grab her and run or, you know, do anything you wanted to her. So there's something where they put something, like, in her drink. I think the hotel the hotel staff like covered it up. Like I think the hotel staff the hotel staff covered it up. I think the friends did something to her or the people she was hanging out around with did something to her. And it's like I think she was like raped i think she she had was sexually violated and then i think they like couldn't wake her up or something like that or they couldn't like something about they couldn't wake her up or she like w had become unconscious and then the hotel staff came in and i think by the time the hotel staff came around they, she was like dead or they thought she was dead Something like that. I don't think she was, like, coherent. Like, clearly she wasn't coherent, but I feel like there's something where... 
I know it seemed like she was walking down those halls and she knew what she was doing, but I don't think she actually knew what she was doing. Like, I don't think she was in her mind or in her body during those times. I think it was then, like, be before then something happened to her, like she had been violated or she had been raped or something like that. Because I'm seeing, like, a split of the personality or a split of the energy. And then it's like, I've got to get out of here. Like, I see her her spirit or her soul being like, I've got to get out of here. But her body and her mind is not coherent to actually get out. Yeah, Siobhan, exactly. Yeah, I don't think she was like coherent. I don't think she was coherent when she was when we see her walking in in around the hotel. That's literally why she's walking around the hotel. Think about it. It doesn't make sense for her to just be walking around the hotel drunk. Like what what is the context of her walking around the hotel? Why is she walking around the hotel drunk by herself? It doesn't make sense. Why is she walking around the hotel drunk and like she seems lost and she seems like she doesn't know where she's going? Where is she even going? Like none of it makes any sense if you logically think about it. I think something happened before she started wandering the hotels. They put something in her drink. I think they either violated her, tried to violate her, something along those lines. She left the hotel room. They caught up back, they caught back up with her. Maybe they tried to do it again or something like that. And I think that's when something happened to her. And then I think when, when she either went unconscious or when something happened to her, I think that's when everyone was hands off and was like, oh, shit, like, okay, like, whose fault is it? And it's kind of sad because I think all she wanted to do was, you know, have a good time, party. But I'm telling you, there's one drink they gave her, honey. Look at the drink over top of this the, the girl's head. They put something in her drink. And I think that's what also took her off guard, too, because I don't think they, she knew that they put something in her drink. So she didn't know what was going on with my body. It was like, what is happening right now? She was probably trying to gather herself exactly. I think they gave her a drink and they put something in the drink. All right. Um, I want to say she partly died due to like intoxication or something like that. And then I think they like did something to her, obviously, that caused her body to be in a position where she was fighting that just like took her out. I think, I don't know why I'm seeing her be like punched. I think she was like punched. I think she was like punched out because I'm hearing punched out. Yeah, but I don't know. I see a group of guys that these girls came with. These group of guys came with one goal in mind. You know, I think they came with a goal in mind to hook up with, with one of the girls, hook up with Kanika. I think Kanika was the one, once again, the one they wanted from the get-go, all right? Um, and I think she was kind of targeted, actually. I think Kanika was targeted. I think the whole hotel, the hotel staff comes in in the sense of it being, like, them covering it up. And I don't know why I get the sense it's like they thought she was dead. And then, like, I think, like, they, like, <gasps> I 
they thought she was dead and then like i don't know maybe she came back to life or, or not came back to life but maybe she reemerged from like being unconscious and i feel like maybe they did something to her again that took her out permanently and like i keep picking that up how did she end up in the hotel freezer How did Kanika end up in the hotel freezer? Thank you, Josh, for your donation. I'll get to your question after I do this reading. How did Kanika get into the freezer? She was moved. She was moved. I don't think the, once again, I don't think the hotel wanted liability or anything like that. They didn't want any, any liability of any sorts. Cause there's something about them like being sued and then everyone on duty that was on duty that night, like would have been fired. So I think there's a little bit of like the hotel staff covering their ass in a weird kind of way. I wouldn't be surprised if some of this, this hotel staff though have criminal backgrounds because this is only something I feel like a criminal would do. Like someone that has common sense would just call the police and, and deal with that. But I do feel like they moved her body. Yeah, I feel like they moved her body. They moved her body because I see them putting her in like a bag. They put her in a bag and moved her her body. By the time they put her in the freezer, I think she was she was dead. By the time they put her in the freezer, I think she was there, but I think she was well, I think she was walking around those halls for a while. Like at least 20, 30 minutes. And I don't think anyone was trying to help her. Like I think she was really out of it. I think she was really out of her mind. Whatever they put in her drink, like it effed her up. Like, I don't, I wouldn't be surprised if she threw up, like, somewhere. But I think that these group of guys just, like, kept trying to, like, have sex with her, kept trying to take advantage of her. And I think they got, like, frustrated with her and, like, either, like, maybe beat her up or something like that. Or kind of pushed her around a bit. Because I feel like, I don't know, I just get the sense, you guys, I could be a conspiracy, I could be an alleged, this whole thing is a conspiracy. But I feel like when she was in that those hotel halls, she was running, like she was running from someone. 
or like trying to hide from someone or something like that. She was like trying to get out of the hotel. But I don't think she was in her right mind once again, so she couldn't get out. She couldn't find her way out. I think she actually like needed help getting out. Yeah, and it's weird because I think like these guys, whoever they hung out with, they do this a lot. Like they, you know, bring girls to this hotel, they roofie them or something like that, and you know, they get away with it. But Kanika, like even though she was roofied or something like that, allegedly, I feel like she was like in her spirit enough that she knew something wasn't right. So she tried to like fight in the sense of getting away. And I think the hotel was just kind of like, okay, look, like we don't want to deal with this. Um, So I think they were just kind of like, kind of reckless and careless with how they handled it. So will anyone be caught? Will anyone be caught with the Kanika Jenkins case? They probably moved her there to stage the narrative exactly. Will anyone be caught in regards to the Kanika Jenkins case? I think you may be right, Javon. I think you may be right, actually, because I'm getting this image where they, like, I think Kanika passed away. Because I'm, like, I keep going back to this footage in my head, you guys, of, like, Kanika, like, was, like, there's, like, an image of her or this footage of her walking into, like, the, where the freezer is. And I'm like, it doesn't make sense. We see her walking into the freezer, the area where the freezer is, but like, we find her there dead. That doesn't make sense to me. Like, and it doesn't. But now I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, I think someone actually studied the footage after Kanika passed away. Is there is there like a time lapse between when Kanika passed or when she was found and when they called the police? Because I think like they studied the footage in some way and. They try to put her, I think they put her in the freezer to make it seem like she walked in the freezer. And then they put her, they physically put her there to stage it that way. So I think Siobhan is actually onto something. The freezer can remove certain evidence. I didn't even pull cards, but what comes to me is basement for some reason. I could be weird, wrong. You might be right. There may have been some sort of basement, but I think they like, I do think they staged, I think they staged it because I think, I think someone studied the footage and was like, we'll put her here. Maybe because that was the last place she was or something like that. Or the last place the cameras caught her going. So I'm wondering if Divine Goddess, you keep getting basement because maybe she was heading towards the basement. And that's the last footage we have of her like alive. But there's something there, you all. So maybe the the YouTube conspiracy theorists will get on that when they see this reading. 
but I feel like there's something there. There was a time lapse. Okay, there was a time lapse in the video, the hotel cut it. Uh, yeah, because I'm getting like something about a time lapse. And then like they staged it due to that time lapse. All right. Will anyone be caught? Will anyone be taken to jail due to this Kanika Jenkins situation? I feel like it's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of hard to like pinpoint or take to like really pin down someone because it's like, Everyone is like everyone that was potentially involved is like it was that person, it was that person. No, it was them. It wasn't me. It was them. It was the hotel staff because they all had a hand in covering it up. But and it's weird because I feel like the the two girls, the two Kanika's, the two Kanika's two friends. Once Kanika passed away and the hotel staff got involved, they like took their hands off of it. They were like, okay, well, it's on the hotel staff now. Like, we have nothing to do with it. Kanika's saying there were like four floors. She passed away in the basement. And I think that's why Divine Goddess kept saying basement. She passed away in the basement. Do you guys see the three levels here on top of her head? And if you notice, the fourth level could be associated with the sword she's holding. And it, it, metaphorically, I see the sword going through her body, piercing through her body. That tells me that she died on the fourth floor. I don't know what that means. Or at least there were at least four levels. What floor was she on? Because I feel like maybe it's like four levels below that floor or something like that is where all of the the drama actually happened. But she's saying four floors. Oh, you felt she passed away in the in the in the um, basement. Clear as day, you guys. Yeah, I'm thinking she passed away in the basement, and I'm wondering if it's in the basement where there's no cameras, where there were no cameras, or the cameras weren't working. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. I don't see anyone going to jail immediately. I do see one of the girls, though. Like, one of the girls either will, will be taken in or may come forward with some sort of information. But I do think the mom's going to get closer to knowing what happened. Because I think the mom is still working diligently to get answers. So I think the mom is going to be the one to actually uncover information through her actively pursuing it. Mm, I do think that someone is going to be brought forward for actually doing being the person to maybe kill Kanika or being involved with the actual like killing of Kanika because I see at least two men were in it, were involved with her passing. It may actually be the guy that put something in her drink that I keep seeing because we see him holding a cup right here. All right. Because I'm thinking part of her passing was something she ingested, drug or alcohol-wise. Another part of it was due to neglect or, like, physical abuse or something like that. 
that like took her out ultimately. So I see a male and a female. All right. Child, this is heavy. I need to burn some incense, honey. I need to uh, burn me some myrrh, some basil. This was really heavy, you guys. Let's say a quick prayer for Kanika. She's really upset because, like, she got betrayed by her friends, but also the hotel, like, the way they handled it is just, like, they betrayed her as well. Thank you, Father God, for clearing the energies in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father God, for sending Kanika healing, her spirit healing, helping her to further cross over, further helping her to deal with and accept and heal from what actually happened to her. I don't know why I'm just now seeing her, like, fall down the stairs or fall. Like, I'm seeing her look down the stairs and like okay let me just show you guys my face i'm seeing her like look down the stairs but her vision is like foggy so it's like she's walking down the stairs but she can't like almost almost like she can't control her movement so she ends up falling once again further proving to me that i don't think she was fully coherent fully in her body when we saw her walking in the actual footage that we saw I think she was on something. Clearly she was on something, but it was something more than just alcohol. I think someone put, I think it was alcohol mixed with someone, something put in her drink, like something in her alcohol. I'm going to stick to that. I'm going to stick to, I'm going to stick to it, you guys. Thank you, Father God, for helping Kanika to heal from this situation. Thank you, God, for helping her family to heal from this situation. And just thank you for bringing justice in any form, spiritually or physically in this realm. In Jesus name, I pray and thank you, amen. Thank you for healing the heavy the heaviness from those watching this video and from those watching this reading. Thank you for healing and lifting up the heaviness of me and my energy from doing this reading. In Jesus name, I pray and thank you, amen, amen, and amen. That was heavy. Those cards are great for this reading, I know, right? I'm about to cry. Yeah, it's really sad. They fed her to the wolves. They did. Females need to watch out for other females, not betray. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't think the friends, the two friends are... I don't really see anything good coming towards them. I actually think they're all, like, in hiding. And I think the guys involved with this are going to end up going to jail somehow. If they don't get caught up for this, they get caught up for like drugs or something like that. I think they may be involved in like a gang of some sort like gang activity. All right. Thanks for sacrificing your energy, Lamar. Seems tough. It does. By the way, this is all uh, for entertainment purposes only. So thank you for listening and watching. So, Josh. Um, <clears throat> This is all a legend, okay? So, Josh, thank you for your donation. You guys, before I get into Josh's reading, I am going to go ahead and get some water because I'm thirsty as heck. So, I'm going to go get me some cold lemon lime water, honey. All right. In high school, my friend was hooking up with a guy at a house party. His friends came in and turned the lights off to assault her. I had to bust in to stop it. See? And the, the, and the guy was probably in on it. Yeah, you got to be careful. Got to be careful. It's a sad situation. I'm definitely going to take a spiritual bath later on tonight. I'm going to go get some water, you guys. I'll be back. <laughs> 